Hi, Sheila. How are you doing? Looks like you're going through a shed. Wait, gonna... if you're filming, come over here. Oh, is there something cool over here? Staff told me that there's a special surprise in the Madagascar giant hog nose enclosure. Have little pearly whites in here? I think we do. Ooh. Let's Haven't see these little, little guys. Uh, I don't I, even see a mad hog in here. Where are they? they? I assume they didn't lay under their water. Yeah, that was changed today, so okay. they would have been taken out if they were under there. It's I'm not guessing in there. the eggs. I heard rock. Yeah, I'm thinking it's under their favorite rock in the world to lay eggs under. This one. Let's see if we can find snakes okay, and I'll eggs. Get in here. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <gasps> eggs! Oh, there's eggs oh, and snakes. Oh and my gosh. Eggs spread they... everywhere, guys. God, wh why are you squishing all your eggs? Yeah. That uh, has to be super uncomfortable to lay your eggs. Why do you always lay in, in that? there? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> there's a slug back there. Yes, there is. Uh, there it is. Here's another slug. This one's like really squishy and it doesn't feel right. So I think that's a slug. That's probably a slug. This is probably a slug. It's really pointy. Those two look good. Yeah, I think we have two good eggs. Hooray, you guys kinda <laughs> did it. Uh, you always lay them in the far back where I can't reach them. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. All right. Looks like we only have two eggs. No, there's a couple egg. underneath there. Oh, I are still there? See. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh wow. I had, I had to get a different perspective, but yeah, those three wow. look good. We have a clump. All right. Let's get this slug out of here. Let's get those snakes out of there. Yeah. Jeez. Guys, get get out of here. Go oh. away. Me... Go be part of the public display that we put you in. Ugh. How did all four of you fit in this rock? I don't understand. And give birth. Yeah. In yeah. that rock. And lay your eggs in here. Okay. Guys. Who laid the eggs? You're the male, so it wasn't you. <laughs> I'm guessing it was. It might have been him. Maybe. Oh maybe. yeah, she's super skinny. I bet it's her. Yeah, she looks pretty deflated. Yeah. So I bet you're right. Well, if you guys weren't all in there, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is mom. Oh, look at how flat she is. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a lot of eggs for you. Hi, pretty girl. Did you lay in shed? You're in blue. <sighs> Why'd you do that? These guys confuse me. Yeah. There's so they much... don't seem to know. What weird how snakes. To snake. They don't, no. Here's the male, he's my favorite. He's dad. Yeah, and in this species, the male is often bigger than the females, which is kind of weird. So yeah, we just find the biggest one and that's our male. I would be tempted to see if anybody knows of them in the wild, like has studied them, if they fight. I wonder if they do too, yeah, because the males- usually the bigger males are like fighting species. Yeah, so. he's really stinky. Yeah, he's stinky, but he gets held like every week because he's a big pig yep. and he eats everyone's food. So he gets yes. pulled out of here to, right. when we put food in there. And so. you know, it might not be him musking right now. It might be all the females. It's probably. He's usually used, well, certain people, certain staff members use him in their tours. So he gets handled not only to be taken out for them to eat their food, but also to be used in education. Ah. He's actually not everting no. his cloaca. No, he's not doing anything. So I don't think he's the one who's in charge of this very potent smell that's now on my hands. I think it was that mom. It was mom of the eggs. Yeah, but look, beautiful dad. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's definitely he's the dad. Boy. You're yeah. a very good snake. Yeah. It's such an underrated species yes. too. This is especially the... if you work with them. Oh yeah, like... they're awesome snakes. I love them. They're active. They interact kind of with the public. Like, I don't know, they're, they're neat. We're gonna put him back. I'll flip your rock over guys. Is there one in there still? Yes. Pull her out of there. There's this one. There's this one. We have three females oh, yeah. and a male She's in here. She's averting right now. To oh yeah, on everything. you're probably the stinky one. You might be gravid though. I mean, all three of these girls laid last year. Look at that beautiful pattern. Yeah. Gosh, they're pretty. All right, and we eggs. got eggs. And we got eggs. We nice. got a bunch of slugs and five good ones. It does look like five good eggs. That's awesome. All right, we're just gonna snatch all these up. Steal the eggs. Steal the eggs. And now run away. Oh, they're mine. Sophia, look. Madagascar giant hog nose eggs. Aren't those pretty? They're beautiful eggs. You're just gonna rattle in response? I don't think she appreciates them as much as you do. Nope, I guess not. Maybe Rex will. Rex! Right. Rex, look! Come on! <laughs> she's like, I got fed yesterday, today. Yeah, she knows she's not gonna get <laughs> fed from this. What if I were to give you a slug egg? Come here, Rex. Oh, oh in that case. Do you want a slug egg? Do I have to give you one now? Come on! If you come out of the water, I will give you one of these slugs. How about that? Come here! <laughs> Come on! Oh, she's so lazy. Rex, come here! Do you want one of these? That's a good one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I won't give her a good one. Oh, okay. I'll give her a bad one. Rex, come here! You even have the easiest way to get out of your yeah. pond right now, because it's so high. Come on! Oh, good girl! You do want an egg! You want one of these? Do you want an egg? Look at how beautiful these are! 
Okay, I'll give you one. Only one. And now we see how Emily is gonna call Rex into the pond when she is over there trying to feed Rex the egg. She's waiting. Is she? Yeah. Okay, Rex, <laughs> now you have to come over here. Yeah, here, I know Rex. it's a lot of listening. Come here. Okay, right there's good. That'll work. Okay. It's like you ever trained. It's right there. Look. You literally uh. just kicked it. Well, she's not, she's like hovering over it. She's incubating it right now. Yeah, that's right. Nope. Are you gonna lay on it? All right, here, you take this. Okay. I'll go move it, oh, I'll move her. Okay, you're supposed to be one of the smartest reptiles out there. The egg is under your belly. You're not a chicken. You can't incubate it yourself. It's not even gonna hatch. Where'd it go? Did you kick it? Oh, there it is. Do you want another one to throw at her? Um, we could give her two. Sure. Okay. I think Rex has us trained. She wins. She figured out a way to get an extra egg just by pretending she doesn't see the first one. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Okay, now there's a treat for you because you listened. No, no, no. Uh, you didn't throw it in? Well, it's, where's the other one at? It's under her tail. You're supposed to throw in the second egg. Come here. Good girl. You're a sweetie. Okay. Oh, there it is. Now we know there's food. One egg down. Oh, look at that happy smile. Oh, there's another one. Get it. You can get it. Get it. There you go. Good girl, Rex. Okay, now let's put these eggs in incubation. All right, we have our perlite. Yep. This is our first from the first 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 clutch for the breeding season. We had a couple early clutches. But I don't know. If, would you consider those the ball pythons? I mean, the ball python was Mangroves, early. It would be. I it guess. was 23rd, 20, 23. Is that what year we're in? Yeah, one of those years. Yeah. Whew, I was okay. gonna say 2013. I'm I like, heard Ooh, that. I, I really dated myself there for a minute. <laughs> All right, we're gonna mix up our perlite as always. There we go. We're gonna really intentionally try and breathe it in. Oh, of course. But I know how much people like that. People love it when we breathe in I the perlite go. dust. And then we go, we cough afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have three eggs. I think I'm gonna leave this clump together. Yeah, they seem pretty well stuck. So we're just gonna make a big opening here. Beautiful, kind of nestle them in. And then we have two single eggs. Now we have it on our to-do list to check the mad hogs every day for eggs. And these are probably laid overnight last night is my guess, because they don't feel super fresh, but they don't feel old either. So I think they are just misshapen because all the snakes were sitting on them. Yeah. So that doesn't help. No. Nope. <laughs> these, we're gonna throw an egg in. Oh, oh wow, that one's hard. And we go back, and we go back, and we throw. <laughs> They're gonna like pop if we throw them. Oh, that one did pop. <laughs> Ew. Who else can we throw these at? Who's working right now? Nah, we won't uh, do that. Yeah, we should probably be nice to our employees. Okay, well now we need to draw some patterns on them. We have a group of five. What comes in five for their design on top of the eggs? Cheese. How am I gonna draw different types of cheeses? Swiss, I don't know how it does it come in five. Hmm, let me look up something. For five, oh, there we go. Let's do the five human senses. Oh, yeah, that works. That'll work. For this clutch, we're just going to do black Sharpie. There is a reason why we're not gonna use colors in a lot of clutches this year, and we'll explain that later. But we're gonna just use black. And let's do the five senses. There's hearing. Here's my, is that an ear? Looks like a half moon that's kind of messed up. That's supposed to be an ear. Whoops. Yeah, sure, that works. It looks like a kidney bean. A little bit. Oh, well. Well, there, now it's a kidney bean. All okay. Right. So There's hearing. hearing. Or kidneys, who knows? <laughs> uh, nose, smelling. I like how all yours are side profiles. Oh yeah, I guess that's the only way I know how to draw a nose. Apparently. Here, Where's we're gonna hairs? Hairs, oh, uh, old okay. man nose yeah, with the, the hairs, there we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm trying to draw on the top part of the egg here, like this, this point is coming up. Uh, no, these are supposed to be eyeballs. eyeballs. Huh. Apparently they have glasses. We're gonna go with they have glasses. Yep, glasses. And eyeballs. Yep. Perfect. Touch. Let's see. Yeah, what am I gonna do for touch? And I would assume. Let's do. I'm going without any Google images for this. There's the hand. Whoa, that did. That wasn't supposed uh, to happen. He, is he like <laughs> his, all his, his fingers <laughs> broken except one? He's supposed to be pointing, but his fingers oh, swollen. I, I guess. That was his thumb. Whoops. Okay. Well, that's a supposed to be a pointing finger. Touching. What is the last sense? <laughs> you don't know it. Sight, vision. That's the same one. Sight, hearing. You got it. Smell, taste. I, there you go. Yes. I passed school. 
Ed is smart. Oh no, how do I draw Ed this? Ed smart. Is this kind of like a mouth and a tongue? Sure. That doesn't look like lips at all. Well, that's supposed to be a tongue. Yeah. That didn't really work. The, like the line down the middle? I don't know. Is there a line on tongues? That? I don't know. That? Sure. It looks like a mask with a and nose. Does. Well, this is what happens when Emily tries to draw things. Maybe, maybe do like little drops coming off of it, like it's salivating. Like there that? Yeah. Now it's a tongue. Now it's a tongue. What if I add a nose? That didn't there help. There you go. Add okay. a face. <laughs> well, we have the eyes there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and he's pointing above him. I should have drawn a body. You're like that Picasso. So cool. I should have drawn like leg, leg, torso, arm, arm. Ah. Okay, next one. Next one. Next nah, one. This is what happens when we've been working too much today yeah. and we don't have Google Images to show us what to draw. So it happens when we get in super early and have to be at the shop all day, every day yep. for a long period of time. That's okay. Time, so. We're going home after this. Hooray. <laughs> so this is actually the same container that the mangroves just hatched out of today to give you kind of a, a timestamp for this and video. And it was what the black milks were in last year. Yep. Yeah. And those they didn't, didn't make it. They did not hatch. So this this year it's mad mad hogs yeah and it is 120 no. 29 Hooray! Hooray! into the incubator all right we have our incubator but everything's set up for like super high temperatures so. yeah except for the ball pythons and mangroves which have to incubate i think higher yeah it was like then yeah, because the Mad Hogs we incubated at 82 degrees, I think, last year. Okay, 80 or 82? Right now. Oh. oh, you can look it up? Yeah. All right, it finally loaded. So it's been sitting between 88.2 and oh. 86.9. Yeah, that's a little warm. So you need to adjust it then. How do I? Actually, I've never done this. Oh. Okay, so go in, open it up. Okay. And then hit the down thingy. So, it's probably 82. So it was running between, at 89, it was running between, what did I just say? 86. 88 and 86. So okay. it's sitting at 87 at 89. Okay, so let me double you want to go two lower than whatever it shows. Okay. And you will double check. It's so amazing. Okay, 82, oh 81. My gosh. Let's do 81 to go. What were you doing nothing, there? Nothing, nothing. Okay. 81? 81, yes. So okay, that's so all I can do go, is... Just go down to like 81? 70. It go to 80. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And we'll check it tomorrow. The thing's right there, so if you want to move. Oh yeah, this is our Jesus clutch. Yeah, you can move that up. Oh, okay, because, yeah. all right, that'll keep them as closer to the tent they were at. Yep, and then we know that where that probe is right there. Yep. Right there, that's where about those will be at, so. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna come back and check it to make sure the temperature is holding steady at the new setting, I guess, and then we're gonna wrap up. All right, so it's the next day. Yep, I was just texting our vet. <laughs> The temperature is sitting at 79 degrees. 79, so, okay, so we should bump it up another. Yeah, so we should bump it up. Two degrees two probably? Two or three degrees. So set that to 82, so hopefully it stays at 80 to 81 yep. in real temperature. Exactly. So gotta recalibrate it every once in a while. All right, so actually we are not gonna end the video with just the Madagascar giant hog nose eggs because we have another clutch that was just laid out here. Follow me. We're at the bull snake racks. Yeah. This is Priscilla, our albino girl. One of our holdbacks from a while ago. And look oh at my this. gosh. We have oh, eggs. I see a face. Oh no. Really? Are Hi, you not Priscilla. gonna Are you not gonna let us take your babies? I guess first things first, did she get them all out? Yeah, we have to look at you. I'm sorry. Did you no, Oh she yeah. Does. Okay, good. Sweet. Looks like you got all the eggs yes. out. I don't uh, see any thankfully. anything swollen left behind, so excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, we oh, need geez. your we need your eggs. I'm sorry. She doesn't want you to give them. No. She doesn't. She actually also, we just took out Brad's eggs today. She and Brad laid their eggs a little bit earlier than we were yes. expecting, which is why she does not have a lay box right now. But you know what? She made it work with just her warm hide. What is with the eggs being so small this year? And they're tiny and they're early. I don't really understand it. Oh, sorry. Calm down. It's okay. You yeah, relax. You took my babies. Yep. It's okay. Now you don't How have to you take my watch babies? over your babies. They all look good. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. They look great. They're a little denty, but that's fine. That yeah. one, that one will pop back open. Oh, yeah. Are they still soft? Yeah, okay, yep, good. still soft. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah. They were laid yesterday, I believe, and we were at home, but yep. we came here and like, they're fine, like yes. just sitting overnight. Yeah. So. We usually let them sit overnight anyway, because we don't want to mm -hmm. disturb mom. Yeah, who did we pair her with again? Uh, let's go look. Let's go look. 
All right, we have all our stuff, and yeah. Priscilla was paired with her dad, Mr. Wilson. So we are hoping to get maybe some white-sided babies. Uh, all the babies actually will be albino, because both parents are albino. That's right. So 100% of these eggs will turn into albino babies. And hopefully on top of that, some of them also have white-sided with white them. Sides, that'd be so cool. that would be a false snow. Oh, so yeah. there's a chance we might get some snow babies in this clutch. Are we so. being sponsored by vitamin water today? <laughs> Apparently. No, we're not. <laughs> I wish we were. Vitamin water, reach out. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Wouldn't it be cool? I really want caribou coffee to sponsor us. Yeah. I do. It's so much logo pushing for them just because I drink it all the time. Anyway, sorry. She's not bitter at all. <laughs> not bitter at all. <laughs> okay, so these eggs, since they Need were- water first. Oh yeah, I forgot the water. This is kind of important. It's a little bit. Remember the years we used to do vermiculite and how gross it was oh. when the babies uh, Yeah, hatched? the vermiculite got everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, perlite gets everywhere too, but not it's as not much as, as vermiculite. Yeah, remember when we would measure out like one scoop of perlite and one scoop of water and make the ratios perfect? Now we just slosh in water and, oh look, it passes the club test. Yeah. It's like we've done it a few times at this point. Is it too moist at the bottom? No, we're no, good. no, looks good. It's not pooling at all. Yep. I might need a thicker layer though, because remember um, incubating Brad's eggs? We needed a deeper bin because they were clumped together. That's true. Do you think I should add more perlite to this too? Could. Probably wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt. But yeah, this is our first year incubating a big clump of eggs together, and we're doing it twice actually, at least twice so far. So we're experimenting to try to increase the chances of survival through incubation for these topmost eggs, because they still have to be exposed to humidity too, but since they're so far away from the perlite, that's why we're adding a thicker layer of this, is to bump up the overall humidity, humidity so much that even the eggs not in contact with perlite should be fine. Which I mean, Makes sense. They're gonna lay them in a clump like that, just in the ground. Yep, but some were humid. Yeah, some were humid, exactly like this. We're just creating a perfect environment for the eggs. So yeah. this egg, even though it's not in contact with wet perlite, is still gonna be in the humidity. Oh, this one I could easily, should I just well, detach that one? Unless Emily just decides to pull it off like yeah, she look, just did. Yeah, look, that just came right off. We don't even need to worry about that egg anymore. There, now you're nestled in <sighs> with the perlite. Yeah, everything else is stuck to you. There's too much surface area so, connected with so another this egg. this one is what I just said about yeah, that one. exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's mark all these eggs. All right, seeing as it is finally getting warm outside here in Minnesota, we are gonna do a spring theme, so signs of spring. I'm only gonna be able to use black, though, and we haven't explained why I'm only using black in the clutches for almost all of them this year, but I promise we'll explain it later, but I am limited to just black. So, let's see, signs of spring. We've got, how do I draw a robin? Just draw a bird. A bird, oh, okay, that'll it work. It doesn't have to be a robin, it can be okay. just a bird. Seagull, perfect birds. <laughs> Beautiful, I like it. And lawn. There, we've got grass. Do sun. Oh, that's a good the one. The sun is out all the time now. Finally, the sun is out. Look at that. This is gonna be such a happy, uplifting clutch. Yeah. I mean, with that, you could do rain. Like, yes. now we're getting rain instead of snow, which is very yes. nice. Yes, it's, you know what? It's gonna rain all weekend, and we're really? having a used tank sale outside, but I'm nice. not even mad because I'm so excited for rain. Because it's not snow. Yep, because it's not snow. Um. How about bugs? Yeah. We could do like a... Lots of bugs flying around. I got bit by chiggers the other day. That oh, was yeah. fun. Those aren't fun. Well, I did a dragonfly. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, spring things, spring you things. You do water, because there's no, there's no ice on the water right now. Oh, that's a good one. That's water. Can you do new growth on trees? Mm, I could try. Let's see. We've got a branch with a bud on it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, there's our new growth. Uh, what else? How about a bird's nest? Oh, that'll work. And we'll have like a bird... Sitting in it? Sitting in it, yeah. Oh, I know what's spring. With spring comes iced coffee drinks. Uh, well, then you could do ice cream. <laughs> oh, that'll work. Like, like DQ's probably making a lot more sales nowadays. Ice cream cone. Oh, I know what is associated with spring here in Minnesota. Tra ah, traffic season. Yeah, construction. construction. Ah, the joke that no kid will get. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that's a good one though, morels. Pretend that's a morel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a tree? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do a cop out move. Another flower? Another flower. I mean, you could do one like a snowflake and then just put an X through it. <laughs> That'll work. All right. So spring means no snow. No snow. <laughs> um, what are spring holidays? I guess Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. How do you draw Mother's Day? Just 
like an, a, a woman next to a smaller woman and then point at the bigger woman. Oh, that's a good one. There. Perfect. That's the mom. Mother's Giant Day. Giant Woman's Day. That's right. That was a spring known for. I'm sure we're missing I know. a ton of them. The last one, last sign of spring. Poop? Actually, yes. Dog this poop? Dog poop all over the yard. Yeah. Cause nobody picks it up in the winter no. here. Ta-da! It's our- Oh, I guess it's not smelly at that time. I was gonna say, hey, you gotta add smell. Oh yeah, line. it's not smelly right now. It's yeah. just visible. How many, oh, there's actually another one down here. How many eggs did she have? We didn't count these yet. <laughs> no, we didn't. One, two, three, four is hidden. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18! 18 eggs! Oh my wow. gosh! That's a lot of eggs. Overachiever. Yeah, really. It's only her second year breeding. And she's not the gi she's not a giant bull snake either. She's not. Yeah, and they were all fertile. Yeah. That's awesome. Not a single slug. Maybe One just looks a little sluggy there, but maybe really not just that bad. Giving Mr. Wilson a year off made him like I want to maybe. breed. Maybe that's right. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think yeah, of that. We're gonna put him into. We're gonna retire retirement, him. But yeah, but he can still produce viable eggs. Yeah, he did a good wow. job there. That's cool. Yeah, I wonder if males benefit from a year off occasionally? Or right, it was just a weird thing with Mr. Wilson. Yeah. He just didn't seem as active last year for some reason. I don't know. We'll take it though. Yeah. So now we have our beautiful, don't know what those markings are, but it shall now be known as... What does that say? False chameleons. Ah, that's what was in here. Priscilla! And Mr. Wilson! And these were laid on technically 5-2. Perfect. All right, into the incubator they go. All right, and these eggs are gonna go actually right next to Brad's. We'll put the two bull snake eggs together. Perfect. Hopefully there's more bull snake clutches than two, but we'll keep them together I for think, now. I think we have a couple more on the way. I think so. So yeah, that's gonna actually wrap up today's video. We were able to recalibrate the incubator just in time for breeding or egg season this year. And we are expecting a lot of clutches. We haven't had any Western hognose or Plains hognose eggs yet. Those are on the way soon. So we have bad lighting in here. Let's go out there oh. and film in front of Priscilla. Oh, sorry. All right. So better lighting out here. Yes, I did not realize lighting, that. <laughs> better sound. Yes. No echo. <laughs> so yeah, now we get to wait 55, 60 days and get all albinos, hopefully some hypo albinos and maybe some um, white sided albinos. So false snows. We'll nice. see. We will find out in 55, 60 days. How's mama doing? How's she doing? Mama. Oh, getting a big drink of water. Nice. What a good girl. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, she's acting her I normal think self. She wants some food, too. We might give her a snack today, actually. <laughs> good job. Laid a bunch of eggs. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support as always. And we'll see you next time.